Hello, my dear friends. This is Prashant Mavani, and I welcome all of you in this discussion of Study IQ on Press Information Bureau. I hope you all are doing good. I hope you are ready and curious enough to know what we have got in today's lecture. Now, the date today is 7th September 2017. The day is Thursday. But before moving ahead, let me remind all of you that tomorrow is 8th of September. And it is going to be the last day for the 30% discount that is available uh, on the pen drive and tablet courses. So if you have not ordered it yet, then what are you waiting for? If you have any question or query, then we are here to help you. This, I, this is our phone number. Uh, this is our website, as you know. And you will be also provided chat support on our website. So go ahead and order your pen drive and tablet courses now. Now this is a news that is connecting all of us together and uh, it is about Literacy Day that is going to be celebrated tomorrow. Remember Literacy Day, here you can see it is digital, a computer lifting books. That means you can feed all the books in your computer nowadays, isn't it? This is the beauty of digital world. I'm so excited uh, that uh, uh, I find myself lucky enough as well. Uh, that uh, uh, that we have got or I have got in particularly uh, this opportunity to discuss uh, these things with you on a digital platform. The theme of uh, tomorrow's uh, li International Literacy Day is in fact uh, literacy in digital world and that's what I'm talking about. This is the connection or this is the thing that is connecting every one of us. The beauty of uh, digital world is that uh, I'm sure you might have uh, gone through this experience in your life that if you are uh, living in a room or something right a, a rental room or as a paying guest and if you are transferring or if you are shifting somewhere else then you have to carry all your books right heavy heavy books and you have to either hire a rickshaw or you have to get a taxi or a car or something uh, to relocate but with the invention of pdfs with the invention of laptops and smartphones and tablets uh, the whole library can be uh, taken anywhere isn't it and nowadays you might have also heard about that many uh, in fact in California there they, I, I, if uh, I am completely right it was in California that uh, the first digital library right e-library was inaugurated over there and I'm talking about a couple of years ago this took place and many a times uh, nowadays in many libraries they do provide you e-books as well now this International Literacy Day, uh, which uh, is something to definitely celebrate, uh, is uh, basically a product of UNESCO. It was in 1966 when it was decided to celebrate 8th September of every year as International Literacy Day. And uh, in India we started celebrating it uh, from 1988 and it was started by National Literacy Mission Authority. The 50, uh, 51st International Literacy Day of 2017 is going to be celebrated in Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi and the main aim behind this International Literacy Day is to fight or to struggle against illiteracy. Friends, personally I believe that uh, it is not the physical disability uh, that is a big curse. Right, I have seen, I have a couple of my friends as well who are specially abled, uh, but they are doing absolutely fine and they are doing brilliant in the field in which they are working. But illiteracy is such a, a disability that is uh, uh, taking place because of inequality. When I say inequality, I'm talking about uh, inequality in distribution of resources uh, and not allowing someone or not providing an opportunity to an individual or a group uh, to explore or expand their horizon to uh, its uh, to their maximum so this is a thing that we all should fight it is not only a responsibility of any teacher or institution any person who can read write comprehend right every one of us should contribute a little bit or whatever we can do to make this world more literate and uh, we should strive for making it completely literate in India we have seen that there are many states where you find that people are still not 
literate so it is again a big challenge for us so again on behalf of me on behalf of all my colleagues and study iq i would like to wish all of you happy international literacy day moving on to next item from ministry of defense sri nirmala sitharaman ji has taken over as defense minister she was warmly welcomed by outgoing defense minister arun jaitley and other dignitaries uh, uh, at uh, south block in new delhi uh, let me tell you the most exciting thing about uh, her is that uh, she is the first full time woman defense minister of india uh, earlier on indira gandhi ji used to look after this portfolio but at that point of time she was not a full time minister right uh, so and this time we have uh, uh, two ladies who are in uh, cabinet security cabinet committee on security so this is a big achievement for india and it is uh, one of the finest example of a uh, woman empowerment she has uh, as she took over she has uh, um, she has issued or she has granted 13 crore for ex servicemen for widows and dependents of our armed forces flag day fund another item dear friends in ministry of defense is regarding joint exercise that is known as yudh abhyas 2017 now this is a joint military exercise conducted by two countries together one is of course our country india and the other is united states here you can see the soldiers of uh, both the countries are uh, lined up and they are listening to their superior authorities and the main aim is to ensure that cooperation between these two countries particularly in the field of army uh, keeps on going and keeps on increasing this time this uh, this uh, you know 2070s uh, this yudh abhyas is going to take place in america united states of america in washington and uh, it is uh, conducted or hosted alternately between either india or usa so this time if it's in 2017 if it is in usa so in 2018 it is going to be in india the period this time is going to be from 14th september to 27th september and it is one of the largest joint running military training and defense cooperation endeavors between india and usa there are other exercises as well in which you find both these countries taking part like malabar exercise but in malabar you have japan as well right and malabar is associated with navy and yudh abhyas is associated with army the main objectives of this exercise is to ensure or to enhance integrity between both the armies uh, both the armies and uh, the way it is designed it is designed in such a way that integration takes place from bottom level to top level that is from battalion level to brigade level the other thing is that uh, they uh, it is mainly about rehearsing things right organization structures are understood uh, they share knowledge about uh, they both the armies do share knowledge about their organization structure who is captain how what are the duties and responsibilities and who is major and things like that etc etc then they discuss uh, battle procedures uh, they also it also works as a budding um budding exercise budding exercise basically mean it develops a friendship between uh, both the armies and they also share and learn uh, they share their experiences and uh, they learn best practices from each other and this is not uh, limited uh, in, on the field only it is also shared on academic level as well right dear friends with this uh, moving on to another topic coming from ministry of minority affairs we have got a new minister of uh, minority affairs sri uh, mukhtar abbas naqvi ji and uh, he was uh, he has inaugurated an exhibition come cultural event in mumbai and it is pertaining to new india we resolved to make you have heard i have talked about it sankalp se siddhi uh, for new india by 2022 this is the main theme and I, i tell you you may find you will find questions particularly descriptive questions on sankalp se siddhi or new india 
you could be asked an essay about uh, your dream of a new India by 2022. Through this, they can uh, they can uh, check how do you see India, what is your vision regarding it, things like that. So these are the examples that you can use here, and the main campaign uh, of by, or the main H, uh, target of India uh, by 2022 or under New India is to make India corruption free by uh, by developing or implementing technologies like say for example uh, Pahel uh, scheme or uh, Ujwala scheme under uh, through which uh, uh, direct benefit transfer of uh, LPG connections was given and through this government has saved somewhere around 56,000 crore rupees poverty we all know that it is a vicious cycle once a person enters into this uh, um, labyrinth of uh, poverty then it is very hard to come out of it filth it could be mental filth it could be the physical filth uh, the garbage that we see around our cities and towns it is not good at all for any of us it is uh, definitely not the living standard that uh, we would like to live in uh, now and in 2020 and uh, it is affecting our tourism industry we see that uh, most of the films are of, um, of bollywood films are, are, are filmed in uh, filmed in in other countries because uh, it is very tough for them to uh, clean the filth around the shooting area it is also one of the major cause of diseases as well communalism then uh, we have terrorism these are the things that are affecting directly affecting or uh, creating uh, cracks in unity unity in diversity this is the phrase that is given by Jawaharlal Nehruji and he has uh, described it very rightly and it uh, it is something uh, that uh, it can be a tagline of India as well because you find all the major religions of the world that are practiced in India we find community of Parsis living in India you find Jews as well you find you will find uh, uh, Taoist over here and uh, I should not mention Muslims, uh, Christians, Hindus and Sikhs. Uh, you find them over here. There is no doubt about it. Uh, in fact, in, in India is a place where you find Shias and Sunni Muslim living together peacefully. Recently on, uh, on the occasion of Eid, uh, uh, there was a news uh, and I think it was uh, coming from Delhi. And that uh, in a in in one mosque uh, both the Shia and Sunni prayed together. But if you go to Arab world and if you find that, then you will find there are two different uh, division. One is led by Iran and one is led by Saudi Arabia, and they are quarrelling with each other. So this is the beauty of our country that all different religion, all different cultures, right? If you go to South India, you find altogether different culture. If you come to North India, you find altogether different culture. If you go to western side if you go to gujarat maharashtra you find different things if you go to northeastern states the way they live the way uh, their culture their art is altogether different but at the end of the day all of us are indians isn't it this is the beauty and this is not something that took place after constitution this is coming on from the longest period of time uh, if you go back to uh, the era 3000 years ago as well then you will find that all the uh, different invaders or all the travelers who arrived in India they have uh, preferred to stay here they have accepted India as their motherland this is the beauty of our country and we should ensure that it is always in unity and this minister has also said that all the all the violence that we see and all the anarchy that we see uh, these are all designs, these are all um, pre-mediated items that are designed to break this unity, but we should ensure, may this, uh, we should ensure that this unity never breaks. Uh, when, I, when he mentions about violence, then I would like to add that uh, recently, today itself, we have discussed in the Hindu analysis that uh, Supreme Court has directed the center to take action against cow vigilance or the people who are uh, committing crimes or taking law in their hand in name of cow in name of cow and then you have Naxal affected states red corridors we have uh, we have been facing terrorism for the longest time again 
from today's news a journalist was killed it is a murder of democracy isn't it it is a murder of freedom of speech we find religious riots as well and we find recently there was a very strange sort of violence took place in different part of our country because of Ram Rahim that guy was prisoned because of he conducted a rape so these are the things these are the violence that we should shun casteism is a big thing in India isn't it it was designed basically for uh, for it was a, it is basically division of work isn't it for distributing work to the best person who can do the job but now we have uh, it's very strange if you go out of India or if you uh, if you have lived out of India and if you come back uh, then you can you will laugh at it isn't it you will find that it is it is something that is I believe practiced only in India caste system so these are the things that we should get rid of by 2022 and this is not something that government can do it is the joint responsibility of society now this uh, exhibitions are going to take place in 39 different locations and uh, I must tell you guys that uh, this exhibitions the main theme is going to be the photo exhibition is going to be on uh, first war of independence that is associated with Mangal Pandey, Jasi Kirani, uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar, then Champaran Satyagraha this was the first uh, Satyagraha or the first experiment of Mahatma Gandhi uh, when he came back to India from South Africa non-cooperation movement a very important milestone Dandi Yatra right the way he Mahatma Gandhi connected salt because salt is consumed by everyone <clears throat> so where he connected he used salt as a as a product as a symbol of Dandi Yatra and uh, through this uh, whole India was enlightened whole India came to know about uh, the the uh, the heavy hand of British government quit India movement so I bet you will find questions in your mains examination pertaining to this five items this is my guarantee that you will find at least one question in your prelims exam on this topic as well so you should prepare it very well you should try to see it from all possible angles try to remember the facts try to uh, try, try to develop a thorough understanding about each and every items that you find underneath this headings then 1942 to 1947 this period again is important you could be asked to analyze uh, uh, the period of 1942 to 1947 so again this is an important topic and the way Prime Minister has connected this 2 and 7 with this 2 and 7 so from 2017 to 2022 this five years India is going to be in the same mission mode that we used to be in between 42 and 47 to make our country free from all these items right from all this ills of our society moving on news from commerce ministry now a new commerce minister Sri Suresh Prabhuji has uh, congratulated he has appreciated the startup community of our country and on this uh, topic I would like to add some things on it he has said that he appreciates the role of uh, uh, startups in building economy and society so you can add here that if more startups do take place in our country that means more formal jobs uh, will be created uh, the other good thing about startup is that many of the startups uh, it is not necessary that you have flip cards and snap deals only there are other startups there are millions of startups uh, that are working on a very ground level and they are finding uh, new and technological solutions for uh, the issues that are faced by society so in this way it helps a lot the other thing is that he has also mentioned about uh, the fast changing world we see that uh, the technologies are changing every couple of weeks in fact every day you find something new coming out and in this period of time it is startup who have maximum advantage now as I am from management background I have studied these items I have seen this thing I have applied these things in my uh, professional life as well so I would like to say that uh, the good thing about startup is that it has flexibility right a big organization is not 
that much flexible because it has invested a lot uh, in making things standardized but a startup can change its strategy it can change its area as per the requirement of time the other thing is that uh, creativity normally do comes from generally speaking it uh, it has been observed and it is true as well that most of the innovations that we find are coming from small companies they are coming from small units that are uh, that are worked by like say for example apple right it was started by steve jobs in a garage and there are other companies as well i can go on and on i have thousands of examples regarding this thing but one thing i uh, let me tell you is that creativity is not something that you can get only at a, a, a conference table right creativity is uh, creativity comes when a person keeps on working uh, when you keep on working on one particular area then you find something suddenly it is still a mystery how you find it but the only condition is that you have to keep on working quick decision making is also one of the advantage of startup and you can highlight this thing when if you are ever asked a question about uh, the advantages of startup moving on uh, Srimati Anupriya Patel who is Minister of State for Health and Family Welfare. She uh, inaugurated 10th uh, Medical Technology Conference. This was uh, conducted or organized by Confederation of Indian Industry. The main topic was how digital technology can increase or how it can enhance, it can make the health sector more efficient and effective. This was the main topic it was by and we can easily understand that if we implement digital technologies and new technologies then uh, we can uh, break down things we can make it more simple we can make it more easy the other thing is that because of that the cost can come down as well accountability can be fixed and it can also provide uh, or create as uh, create an atmosphere of transparency apart from that she has also talked about how uh, digital uh, infrastructure or digital technologies can be leveraged in health sector in registration of birth and death in monitoring mobile units using GPS technology and preventing female feticide so you talked about uh, making India a hub of medical devices right a manufacturing hub for medical devices at present we are doing somewhere around 4.5 billion dollar business or the industry is of 4.5 billion dollar but by 2022 it can hit 14 billion dollar as well railway safety one of the most hot topic uh, in the country today because we have seen how an able minister who was working really hard to change things in railway uh, has to resign because of uh, one by one incidents that are taking place in our country and uh, in this meeting uh, that was focused on safety minister of railway discussed in detail uh, regarding the root cause of this many accident and one of the two root cause were identified one is unmanned level crossing we find this thing in many parts of our country Recently, there was a truck accident. A lorry was uh, a lorry collided with, or you can say, a train collided with a lorry that was trying to cross this unmanned level crossing. And because of this, uh, we saw that many people died and many got injured as well. So this is a big issue. And the other thing is, of course, derailment. So the special focus of this meeting today is that uh, how we can reduce derailments. And they have also decided about sorting this thing out they have decided that by one year time all the unmanned level crossing will be eliminated uh, it is uh, I believe they are going to make a underground passage so that you have your tracks here and uh, all the trucks and all the vehicles can pass underground from, from underneath uh, uh, the tracks the second thing is that uh, priority is uh, being provided to the accident prone areas a speedy procurement of new rails and uh, introduction or manufacturing of link Hoffman Bush this is this are coaches and uh, uh, they are the latest one the good thing about them is that they don't climb on each other during our derailment or they don't turn over as well during derailment so this can 
um, this can uh, save many lives as well and uh, NTD for anti fog LEDs will be used for high visibility Ministry of Agriculture now at two every year uh, this ministry conducts two pre-season interface and this is organized between DSCFW and ICAR and DAHD and F Department of Animal Husbandry Dairying and Fisheries Indian Council of Agricultural Research and Extension Division of Department of Agricultural Cooperation and Farmers Welfare now what is the main aim the main aim is to work out joint strategy and technical coordination to research and development in the field of agriculture and allied sectors allied sectors are here animal husbandry dairying and fisheries now here is a word called pre-season now what is season let's go through it I thought I should add some value to it because many of you might have doubt in it now dear friends basically we have two seasons uh, you might have heard about it it is pertaining to agriculture I'm not talking about monsoon winter summer I'm talking about Rabi and Kharif now the thing is that two-third of land in India agriculture land in India is rain fed that means irrigation facility is only limited to one-third area or 33 percent area so rest of the country has to depend on rainfall so all the sowing and cultivation all this harvesting and all the final product depends on how good rainfall is and we have uh, predominantly speaking two rainfall season one is southwest monsoon and the other is northeast monsoon now let me give you a small example with the help of a sketch imagine this is southern part of India this is Sri Lanka here so when I say southwest so this is the southern side and this is the western side the winds coming from this direction and coming heading towards India right this winds are called southwest monsoon winds and this brings rainfall the major rainfall season takes place because of southwest monsoon at present we are going through it and the northeast monsoon happens in the winter time and here is your north and this is your east so winds coming from eastern side and northern side this winds do bring moisture and rain with them as well you find rainfall in areas of Tamil Nadu in this period of time it is particularly in winter so these are the two seasons and based on the situation the irrigation facility of India and uh, rain pattern or the rainy season uh, we have our own sowing and harvesting season so Kharif is predominantly the sowing takes place in May and June and the harvesting is completed by October so you can call it Kharif is a, a, a rainy season right a, a crop season that is associated with rain and the major crop is rice I'm sure uh, many of you people your staple diet would be rice and uh, then you have Rabi season that is taking place in winter time harvesting takes place uh, around October uh, sorry sowing takes place around October and harvesting is completed by summertime in April and May right dear friends and the major crop here is wheat so the focused topic of this discussion in this ministry was uh, basically regarding making available new seeds and improved and certified seeds to all the farmers ensuring that uh, all the issues pertaining to cow dung and uh, cow urine particularly biopesticides are sorted out and they have also taken decision that uh, uh, they will encourage the ministry will encourage uh, startups to produce devices uh, for uh, for checking the health of soil uh, so that uh, you don't have to take your soil to a laboratory to uh, to check the health of your soil it can be done in the field as well with this dear friends we end this discussion here do let me know how you are finding this lecture and let me remind you tomorrow is the last day tomorrow is literacy day we know the theme is pertaining to digital education so it is a good move you can uh, as a celebrating this day you can go ahead with our reliable and thoroughly researched pen drive and tablet courses uh, 
uh, if you have any question or query here is our number you can also use chat option that is available on our website you can download this lecture from our website and our official telegram channel do not forget to subscribe share like and comment and the way you have embraced me uh, the way you have accepted me it is a big respect and a responsibility for me guys and I will try my level best to make things as easy as possible for you guys and I'll try my level best that uh, you all uh, shine succeed and excel in all the examination that you aspire to appear for with this please allow me to say goodbye to you take care I'll see you all soon Jai Hind